An intense manhunt for this man right now, stretching into its 39th hour tonight at 10 o'clock. This is Ramon Austin, and tonight the sheriff says anyone who may be helping him will be charged with a felony. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lena Tillet. And I'm Gerald Owens. Although Alston hasn't been found yet, the sheriff said he doesn't believe there's an immediate threat to the community. WRL's Aaron Thomas joins us now live. Aaron, the sheriff says they have been getting strong leads. That's correct, Lena. In fact, the sheriff here, Sheriff Blackwood, says that he didn't go into much detail other than saying that these leads are, quote, rock solid. Now at home, from the viewers, we have received many of your emails asking what exactly went wrong with this inmate transport. Tonight we asked those state officials what this means for procedures moving forward. This presence of patrol cars at a command post holds strong. Local, state, and federal authorities remain on the hunt to capture a convicted murderer still in handcuffs and a waist chain. Well, there's always a concern and for your safety. Mike Zito lives across from UNC Hospital's Hillsborough campus, the location where Ramon Alston got away from corrections officers. We noticed neighbors there keeping with their evening routine. Um, we're just cautious, and if we see anything, we'll report it. As of tonight, crews have committed nearly 40 hours of searching for him. More than 300 investigators from 19 agencies across the state who've combed through over 1,335 acres. A few leads that suggest that he may not be in the state. There are also some leads that suggest that he is in the state. During a news conference, we pushed for details about Alston's getaway. Orange County Sheriff Blackwood says he believes someone helped Alston in his escape, but doesn't believe a law enforcement officer provided assistance. How has the situation prompted the Department of Health Corrections to review uh, transport, future transport, to prevent this from happening? Uh, there are a lot of factors we're going to look at in the after action review, and, and certainly that'll be one factor. So here's what happens next. The Department of Adult Corrections will now take over this case. In fact, they, along with the FBI, they'll be housed here at the Orange County Sheriff's Office as they try to move forward. A reminder that a $35,000 reward is on the line for anyone with information about Alston's whereabouts. Aaron Thomas, WRL News, live in Orange County.